the unseen key, gaining admin access without a password. In this section, we'll uncover the hidden methods hackers use to slip past digital defenses, often without ever needing to know your password. Picture a fortress with towering walls and a single, seemingly unbreakable lock, your password. It's designed to keep intruders out, a symbol of security and trust. But what if a hacker could simply bypass the lock entirely, walking straight through an unguarded gate while everyone else is focused on the door? This is the reality of modern network security, especially with virtual private networks, or VPNs, which are meant to shield your data but can become targets themselves. The real goal isn't just entry, it's gaining admin access, the master key that unlocks every room and every secret within the system. Hackers don't always brute force passwords. The most sophisticated attackers search for hidden flaws in the system's design, exploiting weaknesses that most users never even notice. With admin access, they can change the locks, read all communications, alter security settings, and control who enters or leaves, essentially taking over the entire digital fortress. This isn't magic. It's the result of exploiting overlooked mistakes in software, configuration errors, or outdated security protocols. Every system, no matter how secure, has vulnerabilities. Attackers study these systems relentlessly, searching for the weakest point to break through. For hackers, a VPN server is like a complex puzzle box, and admin access is the ultimate prize that unlocks everything inside. In this video, we'll reveal how attackers seize control of VPNs, turning a tool designed for protection into a powerful weapon against its own users. We'll move beyond simple password guessing and dive deep into the real techniques behind high-level hacks, showing you how these attacks unfold step by step. Understanding these advanced threats is the first step to defending your digital fortress and keeping your data safe from prying eyes. Only by knowing how the fortress can fall can you truly protect it. So let's explore the vulnerabilities before someone else does. Disclaimer knowledge is power, not a weapon. The information here is for education and defense, never for illegal use. Hacking skills are like a scalpel, life-saving in the right hands, dangerous in the wrong ones. Use this knowledge to strengthen your security, not undermine it. What is a VPN, and why is it a hacker's trophy? In today's digital world, VPNs are everywhere, but few people truly understand their importance or their risks. A VPN is a secure, encrypted tunnel through the internet, hiding your data and location from prying eyes. It acts as a private pathway, shielding your online activity from hackers, ISPs, and even government surveillance. Companies use VPNs to let employees access sensitive internal resources remotely, enabling secure work from anywhere in the world. This is essential for modern businesses with distributed teams. For hackers, breaking into a VPN is like finding a master key to the company's front door. It's the ultimate prize, granting access to everything inside. Admin access to the VPN means total control, seeing, decrypting, or redirecting all user traffic. Hackers can monitor communications, steal data, and manipulate network activity without being detected. Hackers can create accounts, erase logs, and use the VPN as a launchpad for further attacks. They can cover their tracks, making it difficult for defenders to spot the breach. It's the difference between being a passenger and being the conductor. One observes, the other controls the journey. Hacking a VPN isn't just about spying. It's about breaching an entire organization's defenses, opening the door to ransomware, data theft, and more. The VPN, meant to be a shield, can become a weapon in the wrong hands, turning protection into vulnerability. That's why hackers target them relentlessly and why securing them is absolutely critical for every organization, no matter the size. Whoever controls the VPN controls the kingdom, gaining the power to rule or ruin everything within. Let's see how attackers get in and what you can do to stop them the first crack, exploiting unpatched vulnerabilities. This is where many cyber attacks begin, and it's a tactic that remains alarmingly effective. The most common way hackers gain admin access is by exploiting known software flaws, vulnerabilities that have already been discovered and documented. When a vulnerability is found, vendors quickly release patches to fix the issue. But despite these fixes being available, many companies delay applying them, sometimes for weeks or even months. This delay creates a critical window of opportunity for attackers to strike, often before anyone even realizes there's a risk.
Hackers use automated scripts to scan the internet for unpatched VPN servers and other vulnerable systems, searching for easy targets around the clock. With just a single command, they can sometimes gain full admin privileges. No password required, no special skills needed. A real-world example, the 2019 Pulse Secure VPN flaw, known as CVE 2019-11510, allowed attackers to steal admin credentials from thousands of unpatched servers worldwide. Even though patches were available, many organizations failed to update in time, leading to massive breaches and significant financial losses. The lesson here is clear. Keeping your software updated is your first and most critical line of defense against cyber threats. Don't let the fear of breaking something stop you from fixing a known hole. The risk of not patching is far greater than the inconvenience of an update. Remember. Hackers only need to find one unpatched door to get in. That's all it takes for them to compromise your entire system. Patch management isn't optional. It's absolutely essential for every organization, no matter the size. Stay ahead of attackers by patching promptly or risk being the next headline in a major cyber breach story. Technology can be secured, but humans remain the weakest link. Social engineering manipulates people into giving up access, no code required. Phishing emails trick admins into entering credentials on fake login pages. Pretexting involves hackers posing as employees, convincing help desks to reset passwords or bypass security. The 2020 Twitter hack used phone-based phishing to gain internal access, proving people, not code, are often the target. Attackers don't break systems, they break trust. Continuous security awareness training is vital. Employees must learn to verify requests and recognize red flags. The human firewall is your first line of defense. Train it well, and you'll stop many attacks before they start. Imagine a secret vulnerability, unknown to everyone but the hacker. This is a zero-day exploit, a flaw with no patch, no defense, and immense power. Zero days are rare, valuable, and often sold on black markets for huge sums. Discovering one takes deep expertise and creativity. When used, Zero days bypass all known defenses, letting hackers slip in undetected. Even advanced monitoring systems can't spot them at first. Stuxnet, which targeted Iran's nuclear program, used multiple zero days to devastating effect. Defending against zero days requires layered security network segmentation, monitoring, and rapid response. Assume breaches will happen, limit the damage when they do. Zero days are the hacker's ace, but strong defenses can still catch them after entry. Don't rely on luck, build resilience. Real-world breaches show the true cost of weak security. The Colonial Pipeline attack began with a compromised unused VPN account. No MFA, old password, found on the dark web. Hackers walked in through an open door, shutting down fuel supplies across the US East Coast. Travelex, a global currency firm, was crippled by ransomware after attackers exploited an unpatched VPN vulnerability. Both cases, the technology wasn't broken, processes and vigilance were. State-sponsored groups like APT29 target VPNs, using a mix of scanning, phishing and persistence. Their goal, a hidden, lasting presence inside networks. The lesson, security is a process, not a product. Poor account management and mispatches are all it takes for disaster. Even the strongest fortress falls if the guards are asleep. Constant vigilance is non-negotiable. Learn from these failures, don't repeat them. Knowing the threats is only half the battle. Now let's build defenses. Enforce multi-factor authentication, MFA, for all VPN access. One password isn't enough. Treat every security patch as urgent, test and deploy immediately. Automate vulnerability scans on all external systems, including your VPN. Find the holes before attackers do. Train employees to spot phishing and social engineering attempts. Run regular simulations and foster a culture where reporting mistakes is encouraged. A well-trained workforce can stop attacks before they start. Segment your network. Limit what an attacker can access if they breach the VPN. Monitor VPN activity for unusual logins, locations, or failed attempts. Assume breaches will happen. Limit their impact. Security is about layers. If one fails, another stands in the way. Don't wait for a breach to start caring. Act now and make your VPN a fortress. Cybersecurity is a never-ending game of cat and mouse. As defenses improve, attackers adapt, so must you. The techniques we've covered are just today's threats. New ones will emerge. Complacency is your enemy. 
Security is a journey, not a destination. Stay curious and keep learning. Read blogs, follow experts, and stay updated on threats. The more you understand the attacker's mindset, the better you can defend. Knowledge lets you move from reacting to preventing breaches. This isn't about paranoia, it's about preparation. Layered defenses and a vigilant culture make you a harder target. In cybersecurity, you don't have to outrun the bear, just the next person. Apply what you've learned, question assumptions, and verify your defenses. A little knowledge and skepticism go a long way. Stay curious, stay secure, and keep building your digital defenses.